tutorial 2. The homogeneous wooden block A of figure 8 is 0 0.5 meter by 0 0.5 meter by 1.3 meter and weigh 2.4 kilonewton. The concrete block B specific weight of 23.6 kilonewton per meter cube is suspended from A by means of the slender cable causing A to float in a position indicated. Determine the volume of B. In this situation, we need to calculate the volume of B here. So, and then uh, the situation or the system is shown in this uh, diagram. So, from this diagram, we could draw uh, a, fuddy, uh, a, a, a free body diagram as this one. For example, we have uh, a weight here. So, and then this weight will give us, because it's submerged full in uh, water, so we il it will create force of buoyancy. So, at the same time, the weight of the object here also acts on the object. So, and then, because this weight is uh, hang with a rope to the floating device there, so means that we could draw a tension act upward like this one. So, and then for the for the top object here, so it's floating and it's prevent the weight here to fall downward. So, and then for sure it has a, a submerged or displaced vo water here, so it will create force of buoyancy here. At the same time, the weight of the object will act downward like this one. So, and then the rope here, okay, the tension cable here will give us a amount of uh, force downward like this one. So, from this uh, free body diagram, we could draw or we could write an equation for the uh, force equilibrium, for the, 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 the force uh, equation from these two situations. So, for condition two, means uh, we refer to this one. So we could write as mass for object number 2 times G means the weight for the object number 2 plus the tension is equal to the force of buoyancy for object number 2. So and then we could uh, calculate the tension by rearrange the equation like this one. Tension is equal to Fb2 minus M2G. So we could calculate the uh, force of buoyancy by using the idea of rho, g, and volume. So, and then we could calculate the volume is like this one, 0 0.5 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 1.3. So, the 0 0.5 here is actually because this volume is actually half of the rectangular area's volume. So, we times with 0 0.5. So, and then we minus with 2,400, it is given uh, in the question, uh, I think. So, it is 2.4 kilonewton. So, we minus with uh, 2,400 and then we get the tension of the cable is 724 newton. So, and then we will evaluate the condition number one here. So, and then according to the equation, so Fb1 plus T is equal weight for the object one. And then we could calculate the uh, force of buoyancy that acts on the object uh, 1 there by using this equation. So, and then here you need to be very specific because to calculate the force of buoyancy, so the equation is rho, g, and volume. And then to calculate the weight of the object, it is also rho, g, and volume. So here, to calculate the force of buoyancy, you need to understand that the rho here is the rho for fluid or liquid. So and then th the volume here is volume of the displaced volume. Okay, so means that it is uh, depends on the situation. However, for the weight here, okay, so the rho g is the density of the object. So if the object is still, 
you need to use the density of the steel and the V here is the total volume of the object whether it is uh, submerged uh, in water or not to determine the weight of object you need to use the volume the whole volume of the object so and then as uh, shown here please uh, very careful and then uh, we so in this problem because the volume of the the displaced volume is equal to the volume of the concrete however the density of water is not uh, same with the density of the concrete so and then we could calculate the volume here is 0 0.0525 meter cube 